Hey everyone, it's Katrina Sawa here, and uh, I know most of you probably watch this on the replay, but those of you who are live, great. This is going to be a really short video because I said what I really wanted to say in the comments of the of this video, and so you really want to read it. Um, what I want to share with you today is about are you getting what you need, right? Like. Have you invested before in previous programs, products, services, live events, mentors, masterminds? We've all done it, right? Uh, online products. Have you invested in stuff that hasn't gotten you what you needed? Probably almost every entrepreneur on the planet has, right? The key, and, and multiple times, right? I have a whole shelf full of shelf help, right? Of products and things that I've purchased that I never even opened, right? So. The key to really succeeding in business, though, is to not beat yourself up that you've done that, first of all, and you're not going to, you know, um, and uh, that you've done it in the first place. The second thing is to not make yourself feel guilty for not going and doing that program or fully completing something or saying, I'm not going to do anything else until I do this one thing, because that's not necessarily serving you, right? And then finally, know that as an entrepreneur, I mean, if you're in the, this game for the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years maybe, do you think you're ever going to get away with not investing? I, I'm con constantly investing in myself, in workshops and mentors and masterminds. I just got invited to go to Costa Rica with a group of 20 people, including Les Brown and a bunch of other people to mastermind. I mean, Things are going to come up on your path that you're going to want to invest in, that you're going to want to be a part of, that you know that if you just participate in, you can get that value and you can get to that next step in your business. And sometimes the next step isn't necessarily more revenues. A lot of times it is. But sometimes it's a mindset shift. So, I mean, the year that I went all in really, really big, I changed my entire business model around what I was doing. Then another year where I didn't spend, invest quite as much money as I did the first year, but still a hefty five figures, uh, was a year that I didn't do anything different in my business. I was tormented, frankly, by uh, the people that were in my mastermind group who just told me, like, there was things that they were telling me to just be and all this. And so it's a longer story than I have time to tell you. Um, but it's, it was a mindset year. So it was shifting my mindset. I didn't really do anything different in my business that year. And so for those of you who are watching, no matter when you're watching this, honestly, we have to get over the fact that, yeah, we're going to, waste time and money in the wrong places every now and again, period, end of story. That can't, you can't let that jade you or hold you back or be resistant from continuing to invest. What if, like people always find me after they've invested $15,000 in somebody else's thing, okay? And they're either currently in the program or they've gone through it and they, some of them have gotten good stuff out of them, some of them not so much. And then they were hesitant to invest again, not knowing if they were going to get something out of it. You have to just keep going with your gut and believing that you know that there is more to it than that. You can't just stop. If you stop investing and stop investing not only money, but time and investment in yourself, where are you going to get? I mean, where, how fast are you going to get to a smooth running, consistent revenue generating machine of a business? going to take an awful long time in my mind. I've been doing this for almost 16 years. And with the thousands of entrepreneurs that I've talked to, we've all invested anywhere from, I mean, some just as low as 5,000, that's pretty low, to over a couple hundred thousand dollars in the learning of our business and how to grow ourselves and grow our business, grow our mindset, grow our list, grow our revenues right? Um, become more clear, get our branding done, do our website. There's a lot to invest in. If this is not cut out for you, if you are not cut out for continuing to invest in your business, then I want to save you some time and trouble right now. And you might want to go look for a J-O-B, seriously, because this is what it takes to build a business that doesn't just bring you a few thousand dollars a month, okay? There's nothing wrong with building a business that brings you a couple thousand dollars a month. 
But for those of you who are really heart-centered business owners and doing something that you're completely passionate about and in love with, you should have goals of making a lot more money than you do. And it doesn't have to take a lot more time to do that. That is a big myth. It's a big myth that it's going to take, you know, twice as long to build a six-figure business or a seven-figure business. It doesn't have to be that way. There's so many different business models out there. There's so many different ways to do your business. I hate to see when I see someone come to a call with me and they're like beating their head up against the wall to try to do something this one way. And it's like, well, you could do that or there's like, Two or three other ways you could actually make money doing what you love if you would just open your mind to what else is possible over here. You know, I like to help people think a lot bigger and then put the plan in place to make that happen so you're not working so hard and you can build the business around the kind of life you want to live. There is a way, you guys. There's a way to do that. It doesn't happen overnight. I don't care what somebody tells you. It does not happen overnight. You've got to put the time in. You've got to put certain marketing practices in place. You've got to learn certain uh, things about technology. Even if you don't do it all yourself, you've got to understand the big picture as well as some of the nitty gritty stuff. Therefore, you're gonna need to invest in your business and yourself and the learning of what you need to do. And honestly, I know I feel like I'm yelling at you here and I don't wanna yell at you. I just wanna give you a reality check. It's, I mean, I say that all the time. I'm like reality check girl here. Like I'm building a business of your dreams and it can totally happen for you. You have to believe, you have to get clarity and you have to get stuff done. And I really wanna help you. I am so passionate about helping those people that do what they love to make a lot more money because you deserve it and you're gonna do good with it. Please let me help you. There are ways to do that. You know, there's come to one of my live events. Go to livebigevents.com, livebigevents.com. There's a ton of different events there, live. There's virtual master classes on Zoom, like video here. There's all kinds of different things you can come to to experience me. Um, go to my resources page on my website if you want to and find some free trainings to get started. Um, but then you're going to want to like figure out, okay, if I'm a good person to help you, let's step it up to the next level. Don't wait around. We don't have time to wait around. Life is too short. Things could happen to you any minute and poof, you know, your business might go away. So I just, um, Hopefully this is inspiring and not like, <laughs> hopefully not running away from this video. I am so filled with love to make you more successful in your business and I just am passionate. So I've got to run, but I want to, I'll be, I'll be back. So please watch for my videos and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.